removing a male test is it becomes a very stressful thing what we talk today many uh, many of our colleagues and uh, friends we we have been under a very stressful situation whatever happens in the test is we are very fear to fall to attend a doctor because he might uh, advise to remove the test is we fear about it so let us learn what all scenarios which will uh, lead to removal of the test is and what all uh, situations are very worse so that will be mentally very clear about it in this video we'll discuss about the reasons behind the removal we'll discuss about the physiology what happens after the removal of the test is how we remove the test is we'll discuss the surgical part after effects of removal of a single test is or a uh, bilateral test is it is a very surprise thing which has been uh, awaiting for you throughout this video the important uh, anatomy of the test is what exactly happens during the childbirth the test is uh, as we all know it is an intra abdominal organ as well as the baby is inside the abdomen so after the birth, during the pregnancy itself the test is starts moving towards the scrotum along with it it will seek always its blood supply from uh, the abdominal uh, organs the veins arteries and the nerves and along with it the most important structure the spermatic cord which uh, transmits the sperm cells that is the vas deferens everything comes along with it and then it stays in the scrotum so the exact mechanism for staying inside the scrotum is god has created it outside because uh, the temperature uh, compared to the intra abdominal organ will be always low so that uh, a lot of uh, good sperms will be synthesized so doctor how the test is exactly has been reported there are exactly two methods of removal one is the simple orchidectomy as the name implies orchid means it is test is tummy means it is removal so the simple terms the test is uh, removal after a small spinal or a general anesthesia a small incision will be made in the scrotum and the testis will be removed so this is for the simple uh, testicular removal the second important thing is the high involvement orchidectomy it is mainly uh, meant for uh, scenarios like testicular cancers the cancer cells always spread from the testis along the seminal vesicles and the blood vessels to the upper uh, abdominal organ so to minimize the spread we always make an incision in the lower abdomen and then from the origin where the exactly the nerves and other things originates we remove along with it it is called the high involvement orchidectomy so what will be the reasons for removal of all these uh, structures reason number 5 the most important thing it is the testicular torsion so during the anatomical descent of the testis there is something called gubernaculum testis it always fixes the testis in the scrotum so once the fixation is done it can't move elsewhere but few scenarios when uh, when there is a birth defect the gubernaculum won't be developed uh, that much and then the testis will be freely movable so it is a hanging organ seminal vesicles blood vessels and veins the twist is twists on its own like a like a neck it twists around and the blood supply always it gets compromised so that immediately after the torsion happens the test is will be devoid of the blood supply if this scenario proceeds for 2 to 3 hours the eventually the uh, blood supply goes off the test is will start becoming a gangrenous one so in that process we will be able to uh, lose the test is in the same scenario so what exactly we can do to prevent it you immediately rush to the hospital within one or two minutes of the testicular pain consult your doctor get a scan done and then see the how the blood supply is so take the uh, doctor's advice to proceed further so if this scenario uh, we always rush to the theaters and then de de twist the testis and uh, uh, revert back the blood supply within few hours so if you are lucky enough and uh, reach the hospital in a very early manner we can always preserve the testis but if it is too late we may have to uh, lose our testicles so when it happens mostly it is a spontaneous one many scenarios like uh, we play or we ride a, a bike or uh, traveling whatever the times it happens so what we usually do is we always go for a uh, painkillers and other things and then we delay the doctor consultation that should never happen always uh, when there is a testicular pain immediately seek a doctor advice get a scan done and then uh, follow their advice it will be rectified number 4 important reason is the cryptogenism or the undescended testis so a lot of videos we have been discussing about all this uh, undescended testis mainly what happens in the children is when the baby is born the testis uh, it will usually descends into the inside the scrotum few scenarios there may be a delay in the descent so when there is a delay the testis uh, will usually lie in the inguinal canals or the intra abdominal leg so in that scenario always it is very important for every parents to always palpate the testis uh, in uh, for all your children if some of the testis is not palpable always seek a doctor advice get a scan done see the where the exactly the testis is and then there are so many surgical procedures to bring down the uh, testis which has been uh, undescended and then keep it in the scrotum but if we are missing it means it always uh, it will be underdeveloped namely the sperm cells development won't be there and a few scenarios it may turn out to be a cancerous lesion in the future date so cryptorchidism or undescended testis 
Early identification and early rectification always we are in safe hands. The third important reason for removal is the testicular cancers. Always all males like females who are doing a best self-examination, always testicular self-examination is a must. We always palpate the testis and see for any hard nodules are around there. And if it is painless, it is even more uh, bothered. And uh, we should always seek a doctor advice, get a scan done. What is the hard nodule? Seek the advice, take a biopsy and prove it. So if it is no problem, leave it. Or if it is a, a doubtful cancer solution, always go in for a testicular surgeries consulting your uh, doctor. So testicular cancers, the first important thing we have to think in mind is if it is painless, it is we should more bothered about it and always seek a scan done at the earliest. The second important uh, reason for removing the test is it is the trauma. Whatever happens, all young boys we play and uh, during sports injuries like uh, ball hitting, uh, we striding, uh, the cyclist falling down, bike riders, everywhere there will be a testicular trauma. So in this scenario, uh, there can be a blood clot inside the testis. This blood clot usually expands on itself and then it will create a or pressurized, highly pressurized uh, system inside the testis so that the blood supply also comes down. So here also you should always get a scan if there is a uh, infection or hematoma, always uh, uh, try, try to seek advice to remove it so that uh, your pain gets relieved. Always don't depend on it will clear on its own. Don't take uh, medicines on your own. Don't take painkillers on your own. So if there is a testicular injury, Immediately seek a doctor advice. The first and uh, the very fascinating and surprising thing for testicular removal reason is our uh, gender transformations. So many people who are born as males, they will be always longing to be a, have a feminine uh, body. Always we respect those uh, their personal feelings. So in that scenario, both the testicles uh, will be uh, surgically removed and the testosterone hormone which has been synthesized by the testis will be uh, shut down so that all the uh, masculine structures uh, habits will be gone and the, they will slowly start having the feminine uh, look. So this scenario is the very uh, surprising and uh, like a psychologically very appealing for uh, most of our uh, colleagues. So happy to share all these five things. So what exactly happens after we lose a testis? That is the most uh, stressful uh, question we all have in mind. So losing a single testis two things can happen. Our testosterone of that testis will be low and the sperm cells of that testis will be low. And lucky thing, we always have a two testis. So the opposite testis does all the job synthesizing a good amount of testosterone and synthesizing a good amount of sperm cells to have a very active sexual life and a, a very successful parenthood as well. So don't worry about uh, losing a testis. And, uh, and one more happy news is we have a lot of uh, silicon implants which exactly mimics uh, the same scenario of a normal test is the size, texture and the consistency, everything will be matching the opposite uh, side. So that during removal, we can always request our uh, uh, surgeon to have a testicular implant uh, placed and then we can have a so psychologically very happy life so that nobody can uh, identify whether it is a normal testis or the implanted one. It will be a, looking like a normal one and of course the psychological, the social stigma also, it won't be affected. So always keep in mind, during testicular removal, have a testicular implant done. And uh, the very final fascinating thing which we are going to discuss about, what if we are going to lose both the testes? We always bother about having a children and our uh, progeny. There comes the importance of the cryopreservation. There is a uh, facilities for uh, donating our, uh, taking out all the sperms by masturbating our intercourse and preserving all the sperms for the future uh, uh, having a parenthood uh, life. Uh, whenever going in for a testicular uh, removal, always discuss with your doctor to have a sperm freezing for, for whatever reason it is. Even if it is a unilateral removal also, we can always request the doctor to have, a, a, have our uh, sperms frozen. And then after removal also, if the, we can check whether the other testicles is working normally or not. And at the later date, we can go for the destroying of the cryopreserve. So always take an option of cryopreservation before the uh, testicular removal. I am very happy to share all this fascinating information about the testicular removal. Uh, meet you once again in a very wonderful video again. Thank you.